Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh... <laughs> knights! Five of them! Three! Wait, no! Wait, yes! Five! Three knights! Yes! Yeah? Yes! Yes! Now! Today! Do! Yes! You! Creepy thing! Guys, there's Fright the Horror Attraction. Local Museum Park is getting ready to scare your socks off with a new attraction based on the unsolved mysteries of Freddy Fazer's Pizza. Featuring actual, actual relics from the decades old pizzeria, this new attraction is guaranteed to bring back childhood memories in the worst way possible. It's future! Dots. What? How do I. Okay. Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise. Oh wait. I'm sorry. I don't care. Hey, I just realized that. Five minutes of three. It's three. It's like today, just now. Three. I'm starting night one. Listen to the call. Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise it'll be a lot more fun this time. We're talking about some great new relics over the weekend, and we're out tracking down a new lead. stupid but me not understand anything but me was right Vince everyone was right about that 
What's what's the that? Oh, it's oh, it's time until you can play it again. Oh, I'm stealing this. I know that I'm gonna die on night one. Oh, it's 5 a.m. Never mind. Then again, I've been wrong about that before. What is this? I'm assuming that attracts him, obviously. But me confuse it, Ed. Paper plate boy. Balloon idiot. Me not like balloon idiots. Balloon idiots very bad. Hey, five fifty-nine to six. I like that. It's future. What the? Oh, here we go. Oh, mouse. Like, there's an actual mouse here. You. I made an entire theory about you. Like, and it was like a freaking hour and 20 minutes long. Error. You have any idea how much I hate you? Well, I'm worth theorizing to do. Hey man, okay, I have some awesome news for you. First of all, we found some vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So, I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. That makes this feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. And you're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. What? Uh, uh, uh gotta go, man. Uh, well, well look, it's in there somewhere. I, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Wait, is it impossible to die in the oh, first night? Oh, oh. Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for a French fast bear still dead. But who knows? I saw him. His eyes were like in the place. You stay far away from him. Far away. But everything I thought was right. He spends the night trying to get to you and there are ways to distract him. And you sound will play a bigger deal in this game. I just need to get used to the layout. Please explain. Confused is me. Very confused is me. Hi. 
not scared, just confused. What the hell was that, anyways? Did I have a, a heart attack? Hi. Wait, what area? No, no, no. I can imagine what the 2020 blah 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 is gonna be like. God, I'm acting so stupid. But is it really impossible to die on the first night? And Balloon Boy's right here, what gives? Or that's just the shell! Oh, that must be the endoskeleton, duh! Oh, but at the same time, I feel so stupid. <laughs> God damn it, I knew I was gonna be pissed when I saw Balloon Boy last night on the website. It's just a matter of freaking time. I'm gonna have to get used to the thingy. And I swear, paper plate boy moves, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> I think that the map can actually be used more in this game than in any of the others. It's sort of like that ripoff game, uh, the Treasure Islands one. I'm not saying it's bad, it was actually a pretty good game. Okay, 5 a.m. Hello. Just out of curiosity, can I just do nothing for the rest of the night? I mean... Now I feel stupid. Thing is, I don't know what brings him to me. It just feels so stupid. But it's future. Okay. And it crashed. Wonderful. But I'm starting to wonder if that was actually an intentional crash. I would not be surprised at all. Okay, I'm gonna try to listen good this time. Hey man, okay. I have some awesome news for you. First of all, I those vintage audio training cassettes. Dude, these are like prehistoric. I think they were like training tapes for like other employees or something like that. So I thought we could like have them playing like over the speakers as people walk through the attraction. Dude, that makes it feel legit, man. But I have an even better surprise for you. And you're not gonna believe this. We found one. A real one. Uh, 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 gotta go, man. Uh, well, well, look, it, it's in there somewhere. I, I'm sure you'll see it. Okay, I'll leave you with some of this great audio that I found. Talk to you later, man. Uh, hello? Hello, hello? Uh, welcome to your new career as a performer slash entertainer for French Factory and Pizza. Uh, these tanks will provide you with much needed information on how to handle slash climb into slash climb out hey. mascot costume. Right now, we have two specially designed tanks that double is both animatronic and soon. So please pay close attention while learning how to operate these two as accidents, slash injury, slash death, slash irreparable and grotesque maiming can occur. First of all, you can operate the mascot when they are in animatronic form. For ease of operation, animatronics are set to turn and walk for sound speed. This is an easy and hands-free approach to making sure the animatronics stay where the children are for maximum entertainment slash crowd pleasing value. To change the animatronics to suit mode, insert and turn firmly the hand crank provided by the manufacturer. <laughs> Turning the crank will recoil and compress the animatronic parts around the sides of the suit, providing room to climb inside. Please make sure the spring arms are fastened tight to ensure the animatronic device. I saw him! I saw him! Use moving! Use moving! Stay back! I saw you! Session. Remember to smile. You are the face of Brady Fazbear. Hello? I saw him moving out of the corner of my eye. He moved to the left. That is crazy how I saw him moving. I'm assuming that the balloon boy thing was just there to be a jump scare, but this is Scott Cotton. What do I know? Man, that. This is. fun, actually. I have a lot to learn. 
Ah, uh, life. Well, wouldn't Cam 10 be the most logical to play the audio in? I mean, I'm just some dumbass kid, but it makes sense to me. I mean, it's the. No, no, no. Stay back. I saw him. That is not how you can see him. Okay, maybe the sound attracts balloon crap. No one else. Also, I'm holding my villager amiibo right now. You can't tell, but I'm holding him and I named him Seth. He's my favorite amiibo. Except for my Mega Man amiibo. Nobody beats my Mega Man amiibo but me. But I'm glad the audio plays again, the phone call, because I honestly I missed it twice. I'm an idiot, sorry. Get yeah, straight A's, but I'm still an idiot. My logic. Hello. Maybe the audio attracts Balloon Boy, actually. Okay, I'm gonna study the map. Okay, so... The vents can actually lead straight to right outside my office. That's wonderful. There's some over there. Some like that. And there's connecting these two. Okay, I gotcha. I saw him here! That is such a cool detail! Um, I see you. Don't think I don't. Hello. Okay, so I know that he was- I'm gonna close this vent off. No, this one, this one, this one. I changed my mind, I want this one off. Actually, no, I want this one off. Oh man, this is nuts. No, I'm gonna stay with that one. That is the ventilation of choice. Still no idea what that does, and if that balloon boy jump scare was supposed to be a thing. Cause you're always on the left side when you're in the cameras, obviously, and I see you again. Hi. Okay, I don't know how long the nights are compared to the first two games. I know the second game was shorter than the first game. Don't know how this holds up. Actually, I'm gonna try to lure him to camera Hello? 8, because that's where I have the blocked off thing. I wish I would just listen to the camp guy's phone calls. I'm such an idiot. Oh god, I'm such an idiot. Hello? That probably is what's calling balloon crap to me. I love this. It's no celebrate, but it's a good for me. I hate you with every fiber of my soul. Hi. Like, it's just funny. Because I saw that Mark guy do a video. And then I'm like, oh, just a demo. Scott probably gave it to him because he's Hello. big in YouTube and he wanted to get it some publicity. Then I checked on Steam and the actual thing is out. And I'm running on 20 minutes, but I'm not stopping until I beat night 2. Hello. I'm screwed, aren't I? Well, I'm not screwed, obviously. I'm just gonna reboot that. Also, I laughed at the playtesters for being unable to get past night two. But then I realized now I realize that that night two is actually harder than this one I've been stuck on it, so I feel like an idiot. But I'm curious, is it actually impossible to die on night one? Seems like it does that every time. It's always okay, I'm gonna experiment a bit off camera to find out what I'm doing wrong. So, I'll see you on the flip side.